What up dudes, it's Gaz, and welcome back to another Warframe video. Today we've got a really fun one for you. We've got a new mod set and some pretty powerful synergies to make this the most anime thing I've seen in a long time in Warframe. We're going to be red crit, teleporting with a sword to enemies all over the place, doing four slash procs, and just wreaking havoc on the enemy ranks. So before we get into it, make sure you are subbed to the channel and all that, and make sure you check out the live stream channel if you want to see when uh, the live streams are going on. So we'll be live streaming a lot more going forward. All right, so the mods that we're talking about today is the Amar mod set. This one is going to be uh, for your Warframe and for a specific weapon type, which we will not be using in this video, but will probably be in a future video. So the, Anar, the Amar mod set is going to be giving you Amar's Anguish, Amar's Hatred, and then the other Amar mod is only for dual daggers. So let's link that one. It's called Amar's Contempt. And what this one will do is it's going to be only for dual daggers, so weapons like the Fang Prime uh, and things like that. It's going to give you increased melee damage and increased slash. And look at this set bonus right here. Teleport to a target within 20 meters using a heavy attack. So um, that works for any mod set or any weapon type if you use the just the set bonus. But if you want the full set bonus, giving you 30 meters of teleportation range, you need to use weapons like the Fang Prime. Uh, the Okina, I believe, is a dual dagger as well. Um, but let's just show how this works in the simulacrum real quick with no buffing. I've got Arcane Strike on my frame uh, and Arcane Fury, but let's just show how it goes. And we're using the Pennant. Pennant is a heavy attack focused weapon, which uh, after every heavy attack kill, gets a uh, uh, attack speed buff. So it's very good at this as we're teleporting around the room, uh, just red critting enemies. So um, we're gonna show this on the Steel Path because it actually, it holds up pretty well on the Steel Path, um, surprisingly. So this is with no speed buff. So we'll put out the Wisp modes here in a second. And uh, since it's a tele uh, 20 meter teleport range, we've actually gone with Silence subsumed on Wisp. With no range mods, Silence will actually teleport, or it will not teleport, it's a, a 20 meter range at base. And we've got a 20 meter teleport range, so it works out great. As far as the stats in these Amar mods, uh, Amar's Hatred gives you 30% armor and 15% ability strength. So it is a new ability strength mod, technically. Uh, and spoiler alert, these come from the new bounties after the quest is completed. So you cannot get these mods uh, to drop unless you've beaten the new war. You can, of course, buy them from other players. Um, yeah, that much power strength is not really doing much. Armor is not a very valuable stat in the current meta, so we're basically just using this for the set bonus. Then we've got Amar's Anguish, giving us increased bullet jump and increased sprint speed. Those are pretty good mobility stats, but still, I'd probably just run this unranked so we could fit some more mod space somewhere else uh, and just get the set bonus, because we're basically just using this for the set bonus. And then as far as the Pennant, the Pennant comes from Railjack, uh, one of the missions of Railjack to kill the commander. He'll drop this. Um, and like I said, it, it will give you increased uh, heavy attack. Uh, when you get a heavy attack kill, it increases the attack speed of this weapon. So we've gone, I have a Riven on here. Here's a no Riven build right here. It's not going to red crit as much, but it will still nuke down enemies very easily. Um, so this, with my Riven, we've got a crit chance, crit damage, cold Riven. So let's just easily fit Viral on here, getting us some Viral procs uh, and just teleporting around. Remember, if you don't uh, want, you don't have to have a maxed out corrupt charge if you don't want to, because 22 combo hits is enough to get you over the, uh, the multiplier. And since it's a heavy attack weapon, you want Sacrificial Steel uh, to increase the crit chance and get even more red crits. So, um, yeah, let's do it with some buffing now. So we're going to put out the Wisp mode. It's a good amount of strength. It's always going to be good on your Wisp build. Um, and let's actually unpause the enemies and summon in some Gunners. And then we're going to actually put on the Steel Path and show you how that works there. Because it's actually very good on the Steel Path. Good against Acolytes. Good against all that stuff. So we're put, we'll put Invincibility on just because this is not a survivability uh, showcase. And I didn't unpause them. Well, they're definitely done for when we get when we uh, unpause them. Oh, well, they were unpaused. They just because oh yeah, you're invisible in the air with wisp. That's what it was. And they're also silent, so they're pretty much just sitting ducks for us. I mean, this reminds me of an anime, honestly. Like it reminds me of like some of those uh, like anime teleporting sword fights in like Bleach. Like where they was just like oh, I was right next to you the whole time, and then uh, yeah, the, they're just dead. So. Very good, very, very good. Um, we definitely could have like used Breach Surge there, we could have used Roar, uh, and some other weapon types that this is good with. Uh, I'd say the Pennant is definitely the best one in the entire game, but other weapon types that are good with uh, heavy attacks, I've tried it with a Gunblade. It's actually very weird with Gunblades, you'd think it would be really good. Um, but the thing about Gunblades and one of their strengths is because you can use them from a further distance than most melee weapons. Using this mod on a gunblade, I feel like defeats the purpose of using a gunblade, because watch this. We'd usually be able to shoot them with the strobo from like right around here. But when we use this, we teleport right in front of them, and it basically guarantees the hit on that specific enemy. But we didn't need that in the first place with the strobo. So I wouldn't really recommend this mod set with gunblades, but you might find that useful. Um, the Quasis, actually, I found the Quasis pretty good. 
as the Colossus is going to, um, it shoots out those blades to uh, do four slash procs, but you know, also hitting enemies with the Colossus does do a good amount of damage as well. So just make sure you're building for a heavy attack build and you'll be fine. Um, so similar situation here. Let's just teleport to them so you can see how that works. And of course you will still throw out the daggers, but you'll be teleporting right on top of the enemy, so they're not going to be taking the daggers uh, most of the time. Because they usually just go through. So, it's pretty cool. Um, 20 meters feels like enough. 10 meters does not feel like a lot. So, I wouldn't recommend just running just the Hatred mod. Uh, you should run the uh, the Anguish one, I think it's called, as well. Even though like, the stats aren't super useful. Um, there's, of course, daggers. So, the Bala dagger, the, the Karis Prime. Uh, whatever dagger you feel like using. Those have four slash procs on the heavy attacks as well. Um, like I said, it does not work with Glaives. The Neferi, we'll be doing a video on these eventually. They're pretty much new dual, dual daggers if you want to do that. Um, let's do a heavy attack build on the Karis Prime. Let's just see how that is. Hopefully we have a heavy attack build already set up here. Uh, heavy spam right here. Okay. It will, it will do. It's not exactly a heavy attack build, but I just want to show you how it works. So this is not exactly a showcase of a perfect heavy attack build for the Karis Prime, which can do a good heavy attack build. So... Yes, that, this makes it much easier to teleport to, to hit your heavy attacks because you're just you're getting right on top of them. A big thing with heavy attacks before is like you'd have to like you know do your do your heavy attack. There's another guy over here. Move over here. Do the heavy attack there. That that step of moving between targets has been eliminated because just pressing the button will teleport you between. There's a couple like weaknesses with a potential build like this. Let's go over some some steel path gameplay. Um, some weaknesses with a playstyle like this is that um, you basically can't... You, you need to have max combo... Of, uh, max heavy attack efficiency or be running corrupt charge because you are doing so many heavy... Like, you're mashing the heavy attack button with this play style. Um, especially with a speed buff from, like, Wisp or if you're using the Pendant, which I do highly recommend. Uh, pendant with a Riven, gonna do real good with this uh, this new mod set. Um, if you're doing that, you, you, you're not gonna want to, to uh, run, like, a 12x heavy attack build unless you can... Constantly keep building your combo back up. You want to do a corrupt charge, just 2x build. You're still hitting like million damage slash procs, so it's not too big of a deal. Um, but yeah, you're just you're just pushing it so many times that you should just have initial combo in there, in my opinion. And as far as other good weapons for this, uh, scythes were really, really good. The hate scythe is good. The reaper scythe is good. Um, I'm sure Caliban's new... Uh, New Scythe is decent as well. Um, so Because those have four slash procs. There's also Nakanas and Nakana Zaws. Those have four slash procs. Now, those aren't going to be hitting as many enemies at, just because of the way the heavy attack works with those uh, per swing. The heavy attacks on the two end of Nakanas, like the um, Tatsu and the Pennant, and maybe even the Tenant Livia, um, are, are just going to be, you know, more consistent. Just hitting more. Like, as you can see right here, we're wiping out, like, you know, five enemies in one heavy attack. And just keep on going. Like these are these are slash procs too. These guys are dying to upfront damage. There's a slash proc after this too. So um, yeah, this is really really fun. Like I said, they come from those new bounties that you might not have access to yet, and those bounties are annoying to farm. But I don't see these mods being too expensive in the future. Um, not to mention that you don't need all three of them. You just need the two that we have on in the the video. Unless you are using like the Fang Prime, the Okina, something like that with the the full set bonus for the extra ten meters of teleportation. Uh, 20s felt fine. Um, you know, 30 would be very free, but even then, you're using a mod slot on your, your Fang Prime build you might not want to run. So, we'll probably have a Fang Prime Revisited video coming up pretty soon here. Um, but yeah, it does work pretty well. It does work pretty well. Um, and the Fang Prime has do, does have pretty high ribbons. So, I'd probably recommend if you are going to be doing this on the Fang Prime with the Okina, get a ribbon. Especially if you're on the Okina, because the Okina has extremely high dispo. Um, yeah, so as far as the other set bonus mods, they don't seem as useful as this one. This one seems like the best one so far. Um... Just because, like, it has a powerful effect. And there's no, it doesn't seem to be any cooldown on this. Um, as long as the reticle is actually targeted on the enemy. Like, there might be a couple whiffs in here. That's because I'm not, my reticle is not exactly the enemy. You have to be very precise when you're aiming with this thing. Like, make sure your, your reticle is on the enemy's uh, body when you release the heavy attack. Because that's, that's when it's, like, basically snapshotting if it will teleport or not to that enemy. So... Hopefully you guys found this helpful. Um, it is really good. Like, I did not run out of life support here. I did not die once. Uh, it's Like I said, it's pretty good against Acolytes, too. Um, especially if you have a Ribbon mod, giving you increased crit chance, getting, like, more consistent red crits, stuff like that. Um, yeah, highly recommend it. Hopefully you guys found the video helpful. I'll see you next time. There's more videos coming out every day on this channel, so make sure you're subbed. Make sure you're on that Twitch and all that. Thanks for all the support, guys, and I'll see you next time. Take it easy. Peace.